Hi, welcome to this session. This is about installing JBPM file. So, if you are looking for a place to start the JBPM file, you will find this helpful. So, what we have here is steps on how to download JBPM file and how to install it and to run a sample application in JBPM file. And before installing it, the first thing you should remember is you should have Java installed as well as the AND framework in your system and the path should be set for the both the components Java anyone will have so AND you may or may not have if you don't have AND you can download from here and you can simply extract it to any drive in your system so these two is not a big deal installing is also a very easy step to do but sometimes the installer will break in the middle due to some reason so this video will help you to fix these kind of small small problems the first thing is to download the installer and you have two places to download the first one is a sourceforge.net website and the second one is the snapshot download that another website so if you download from here you will get the snapshot installer and what is the difference between these two types of installer is this is the latest one so it will have it will have less problems whenever you install but whereas when you take the official snap official one which is CR1 release it, it might break in the middle because not because it is full of bugs or something but because the third party frameworks it links to might be broken or something so it's good to take the snapshot install it is updated every day with the proper links so I'm going to download this snapshot installer and then I'm going to start the installation So this is what I am going to use and I am going to extract this right so I will extract this somewhere on my hard drive so once I go there I will have this folder jbpm hyphen installer so this is where I am going to install. I, I will basically run this build file which will be having scripts on downloading the necessary components and finishing the installation. So if, if you take the JPM3 or something, the earlier versions, you have to individually download every component and then you have to put them together. But the best part here is this AND script takes care of getting everything for you and all you have to do is run one single script and that script is this. So you go to where the JBPM installer is and there you go and say and install dot demo and when you do this this and script will start downloading the necessary components and it will finish the installation for you and there are there is a probability that this kind of download will broken for example presently it is downloading the JBoss application server from the URL this from this URL and what happens is if this, this particular URL is not available or have been moved to some other website or something this particular download will break in these cases what you can do is you can directly download the file see it has broken now test time dot maybe because this particular file is not there or something what you can do is you can try again or you can manually download this file and put it there okay so I will just say mark and I can try and get this enter to copy by doing this I can manually download the file and put and put in the directory where jbpm is looking for basically it will create a folder called lib here and it will just place all the dependencies inside either i can download this file from here and put it there or even if you have already for example if you're already having the jboss server the version 4.2.31 you can keep it here i finished the installation already so i have it in my e drive the same jbpm installer folder 
here if I go and open my LIB, I will be having all the dependencies downloaded. So even what I can do is I can copy the JBoss server here and I can paste it in the LIB directory here. And when I do something like this, what will happen is the installer, it will skip downloading the application server. So if you are having Eclipse or any other file, you can just rename it and keep it here under the same name as this. For now what I will do is I will copy all the files from here. So if you find it breaking, all you can do is you can simply download the file manually and then you can initiate the download again. Sometimes if you try again, it might still come. It might not get broken or something. Now it is not downloading because it is already placed in the appropriate folder. So it won't, it won't ask me again. But now you see you can see it downloading the governor framework because the rule is governor is not there in the LIB folder. Right? So it has started downloading it. If you refresh this folder, you could see that the size of the file is increasing, which actually tells you that the download is happening in the backend. Right. So this comes around some 500 MB. If you have a very fast internet, it will happen in less than an hour or something. But if you have a slow internet, internet like mine, so it will take a day or something. All you can do is you can peacefully start the installation, go and have a good deep sleep. And if you wake up in the morning, you will see the installation done. For now, I will break the installation. I will say Ctrl C. I am going to break this installation. I am going to get the files from the LIB folder which I downloaded already. I will delete this folder and I will extract again from the installation directory. This is the problem you will have when you do the scripting. So what happens is the download links break very often. So you have to do some tweaking to get it work. You can see that I already have three downloads of the same install. So before I start the installation again, I am going to get the LIB directory here. So, so that the installation becomes faster and I can finish the tutorial file. And this installation file, this documentation is very helpful in getting started as well. And this is, this is the official documentation that ships in with the product. So this will also help you to the same thing, the same and install the demo and steps. So what I will do is I will tell you some common things that will happen which will break your installation. I again go to the same drive and I do the same and install dot m. Right, this is not finished.
once you get all the libraries inside it won't take much time so it will take a maximum of a minute or two to extract all the files and form one installation which will help you get started Eclipse is something everyone used to have in the desktop. So if you do have Eclipse, you can actually rename it to this particular name and keep it in the library drive or you can just download also. There are some sometimes the version you have might not be compatible with the one. So it's good to download whichever that is that ships in with the package because those are the frameworks our products that are tested properly every day and are posted there so it's good that you download the official thing whichever is suggested by them and then start using it and once you learn it when, once you get your hands on to it you can experiment everything and do whatever you want with it I, I got a successful message so it has taken for me three minutes to expand and set up everything. If you are downloading it, it will take more time. It will definitely take more time to do things. If if it breaks for some reason, what you have to do is you have to get the installation file separately. For example, if you don't have any of these files, say this Eclipse file you don't have, you can just go there, you can search for it on the internet and you can go and place it. should be available somewhere right so you can just go here and get this particular file and put it in the lib directory and start the installation again so this is your 361 eclipse thing you can get from here so like that you can get any of these frameworks which are that fails and put it in the right directory and do the installation again and once the build is successful you can start working on it. The easiest way to start working on it is you have to say and start. Right? So when you say and start a demo, what happens is it starts the services that are necessary to work on JBPM. The first thing is a database. By default, the hypersonic database is installed. And after that, your JBoss server. And you do have an option to set up in Tomcat. JBoss is the default option you have here. So what happens is it starts a DB, it starts the server and then it starts with Eclipse also and all you have to do is you have to start your development right away. So you don't have to do any, anything. In the version 3 what we used to do is we have to separately start the server first and then we do the development and deployment. So here the same thing is happening but they are automated using and scripts. So you don't have to worry much about starting these things and stopping these things even if i am done all i can do is i can say and stop the demo to stop my trial We got our Eclipse, so you can directly go and start your development. The good thing about this installation is the JBPM plugins and all will be automatically installed. You don't have to go and install anything. You don't have to go to any update site and import any JBPM plugin. To create any project, you can just say file, you can say new, and you can straight away create a JBPM project under this menu. And another good thing you have is whenever you create a new project, you have the option to include two sample classes in your BPM and process. So 
what happens is when you get started these things will be very useful for you you don't have to think about anything or write anything to straight away run something to to see for yourself these things will definitely help you you will see two things here the first thing is your bpm and file bpm and is business process modeling notation which is a standard industry standard for defining our your business process the previous versions they did not give much emphasis to this thing the jpdl version the, the jpdl format was the most prominent one in the previous versions here from now on from gbpm5 bpm and will be the prominent process definition language we will be using so in this sample project you have one node which says hello and if you want to see the properties if you don't have any tabs here you have to go and do show view and say properties so uh, these nodes properties are here you can check out the properties of your system here for example this particular node is configured to one action which will print hello world in, hello world in the console and to run this all you have to do is you have to open this sample java program just there in the installation and just have to run it you say run and then you say run as java application and you will get this message after executing this particular node so this is your first project and there is one more sample project which is already there in the installation you can import it by saying file import you can find it in the uh, the same jpm installer folder which we extracted in the jpm installer okay in the, the same installer folder you will see something called sample under the sample you have one project called evaluation which actually ships in with the standard jboss jbpm5 installation right so again this will have a bpmn file it says evaluation.bpmn this has three human task or user task which are which are nothing but a human task which people will go and work on it so these three things will be there again to run this you can simply go and open the process file and run it as a java application and after i run this i had to go to the jbpm console and the suggested browser to open the console is google chrome so there are some problems with the internet explorer browser as well as mozilla so the best thing is to try chrome so while the issues are fixed we will continue to use the chrome browser you first say localhost 8080 and see if the jboss server console is opening and then you go to jbpm hyphen console chris v is the default username password you have for this particular project by giving this you should have your task displayed in the inbox there is one more possible bug which actually the console will not load the first time you log in so you have to do it one more time so that it is displayed properly the first time you don't log into it it might not come properly and when i go here and say my personal task i have one task which i just executed 
with ID 1, you can say view task. Here I will give any random value and submit the form. So once I finish it, it will go to the next level which is actually the uh, HR evaluation as well as the project manager evaluation. If you see it here, it is, it is actually assigned to another user. It is not to the same Chris, which is assigned to Mary as someone. So you have to log in as this particular user. To see the task. The username and password are same for the users. For Mary, this is the password is same as Mary. So here comes the task here. So this is my task. I can just go and see it and I can finish it. So I might have one more task which is for the John user. John right, so I don't know what exactly the username is. John. It's here. I got the task, I will say view and I will go and do something. 